we're in trouble. <laughs> we are in deep trouble, ladies and gentlemen. Top four is definitely in jeopardy. Thomas Tuchel is not safe. I'm telling you right now, he is not safe. Um, I don't want it to happen. It breaks my heart, but we are not looking good. There's something going on internally, and it's just not looking right. All right, all right, all right. Here we go back again on the other side of the coin. Welcome back to the other side of the coin, ladies and gentlemen. Two matches this season against Brighton and two matches where Brighton deserve to win. This is the truth. This is the fact. We backed up the City game with another lackluster performance. I'm very worried. I'm very worried. Ziyech scoring, not celebrating, then having a fight with Lukaku. The entire team, you can feel. You can feel, you can sense it. It's disjointed. The entire team. When a team is playing good, you can tell the gap between defense to midfield to attack is compact. It's tight. They understand they're moving good. Each player knows what each of them will do. Now the gap between defense and midfield is heaps. Gap between midfield to offense is heaps. We're getting exposed. Opposition are running wild in midfield. Players are dropping stinkers. Have you ever got into a situation, ladies and gentlemen, where a player scores and still manages to probably get zero out of ten? I'm talking about Hakim Ziyech, a player that I like a lot. Hakim Ziyech probably got a zero out of ten, even though he scored a goal. The amount of time he got dispossessed for fun. His passing was embarrassing. And he doesn't have the pace as well. Callum Antonadoy. Poor. Poor. Every time he drives, he stops, he passes back. There is no confidence to take the man on. There is no confidence to try and beat the man and get a shot away. And when he had the... The entire 90 minutes against Brighton, we probably had one good opportunity. That was Lukaku laying the ball to Kalamant and Odoi and Kalamant and Odoi hitting it for six. Entire 90 minutes. That's the only thing we did against Brighton. That's not good enough. I'm sorry. That's not good enough. Mason Mount. You think I'm harsh on Mason Mount. I, I swear I, I refuse to talk about this player too much. Once again, I didn't see enough of him in this match. I didn't see enough. I'm not going to say anything. I'll let you guys talk about it. But the issue starts from the beginning. Thomas Tuchel, I feel like, is losing the grip a little bit on this team. How did Romelu Lukaku start this particular match? That lineup. What, what, what's Kai Havertz done wrong? Why are we going back to basics? Kai Havertz, Ziyech, or Mount, Werner. That combination. Why are we going back to that? Fluid front three. Jorginho. Embarrassing. Today was embarrassing. And he's not been good in recent times. He hasn't. Lacks pace. We always knew that. He's, he's, he was a passenger. He was literally a passenger this game. And he wasn't even providing any brilliant passes as well. And it wasn't as if he would control the midfield. I'm telling you, Thomas Tuchel has... There's something wrong. There's something wrong. And Thomas Tuchel needs to take blame as well. Not only the starting lineup. And I'll tell you why. Ever since that interview of Romelu Lukaku, if I was a Chelsea player... If I was a Chelsea player, and I want to ask you guys as well, if you were a Chelsea player, if I was a Chelsea player, and if I saw Romelu Lukaku keep starting, even though when he's dropping stinkers and the fact that he put that interview and he's still starting, I'd be a bit annoyed as well. I'd be a bit annoyed. I'd be like, what's going on? Kai Havertz, Timo Werner. At least Kai Havertz. 
I can't even I can't even defend Timo Werner. Timo Werner came on. I know it was only ten minutes, and that too will get to Thomas Tuchel doing substitutions ten minutes before the game finishes. You needed to do substitutions way before, my man. This is why Thomas Tuchel needs to take some blame as well. Timo Werner comes on. He's running into players. He's running nowhere. We are a poor outfit. Timo Werner, technically not good enough. Ziyech, not good enough. Not good enough. Even though he's scored that banger, not good enough. Callum and I'm fed up now. How long am I going to keep patient? How long? Lukaku is... There's other external issues. And there seems to be some bad blood. Ziyech having a fight with Lukaku. There's something not right. There is something not right. Mason Mount, not even evident in the game. It's got to a point where I can't imagine how all of these attacking players are not playing well. You can have one player. You have two players. But the entire attacking unit, Christian Pulisic as well. You know, he didn't even feature today. So you can't even blame him. But this entire season... We need Thomas Tuchel to sit with the players and literally have an honest discussion or else this season is going to go in the mud. Especially in the league. We drop out from top four, I swear to you, I'm scared for Thomas Tuchel. I really am. We know how our board operates. We know how our board operates. This team should not be in a dogfight for top four. It shouldn't. The objective was to go for the Premier League and now we're in a dogfight. We are possibly going to be outside of top four very soon because there are other teams that have games in hand. I'm very upset with the board as well. The board's just sitting there and they're going to make a snapshot decision very, very soon. Thomas Tuchel is still persisting with the wing-back play with Alonso and Aspilicueta. I mean, kudos to Alonso. He didn't have a bad game today against um, Brighton. He actually was okay with, with Lamptey. But we know what, he, what happened to him against City. We know. So we, we, we know it's still an issue. This game, not an issue. But we know overall it's an issue. Aspi, Cucurella, run a madness. Cucurella went behind, around, did a twirly whirpy. Cucurella did a nice twirl around Aspilicueta. Aspilicueta was rubbish. Aspilicueta, when Lukaku was there, wasn't delivering crosses. When Lukaku comes off, he starts delivering crosses. Something's not right. Something is wrong big time in this particular football club at the moment. And Thomas Tuchel needs to sit down with them. And have an honest conversation. And as I was saying, the board, I beg you, Chelsea board, help Thomas Tuchel out. Please don't make a rash decision. Please. Thomas Tuchel needs wing backs. It seems like he doesn't want to deteriorate, you know, deter away from wing backs play. Give him wing backs. Please, at least just give him a Serginio Dest on the right side and do your level best to get MSN back. The fact that you have not even done this, you've not even planned any of this, it's embarrassing. It's really embarrassing. Thomas Tuchel, even post-match today, has said he's getting... Thomas Tuchel post-match is getting angry. These are the signs of a manager feeling the pressure and this does not end well. Some fans are saying Thomas Tuchel trying to send a message to the board. Don't send any message to the board, Thomas Tuchel, please. It only goes one way. You try to send a message to the board, the board sends a message back to you, sacked. Please, the board, help Thomas Tuchel out. We've had three wins from 11 since Man United draw. Three wins from 11. It's not good enough. It's not good enough. We've got Spurs. <sighs> we drop out of top four. I don't know. Like Top four should just be a normal thing. It shouldn't be a concern. Thomas Tuchel needs to make some hard choice. He, 
I think he's getting forced probably to play Romelu Lukaku. It clearly looks like the team is not... People say Romelu does the right thing. The team's not doing you know, the, the due, due diligence. Lukaku's making the runs. The team's not looking for him. Maybe the team doesn't feel the chemistry with Lukaku at the moment. Maybe. Let, let it sort of... Let the time sort of pass until then Lukaku be on the bench. Is Thomas Tuku getting forced by the board that this is a hundred million pounds player? You can't be benching him. But the fact that our other attacking players are not looking for him quick enough, not seeing his um, runs, it makes me think it's disjointed. Maybe they're not happy to play well. Maybe they don't understand him. He definitely doesn't understand the team, and the team doesn't understand him. Maybe he's a better just to just to sub you know keep him away for a little while until the chemistry comes back in the training ground and then you can slowly bring him back in. Right now, let's go back to the basics. It's only good for you, Thomas Tuchel. You need to make some hard decisions pronto, or else you're gonna be gone. You're gonna be gone. Sad to say, you're gonna be gone. I'm really worried. Brighton two games this season deserve to win against us. That's not right. Brighton played off, played us out of the park. This is not right. It hurts that City did that to us, but at least you can appreciate the fact that it's City. When Brighton does that, there's a lot of things that's not right at the moment at Chelsea Football Club. We need Thomas Tuchel in the next couple of days. Needs to sit down with the players and some honest discussions need to happen because... We can't have all of these attacking players not playing well. Not just not playing well, they're dropping stinkers. Kante, ladies and gentlemen, has not been playing well. It's it's having a ripple effect on the entire team. There's only two players that I think is having okay games. That's Rudiger and Silva and Kepa. Three. Every other player, not good. Not good. And it's dangerous times now. Dangerous times. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, let me know how you feel. Smash the like button. If you're here for the first time, subscribe. Hit the bell notification. We'll have a live. We'll have a live tomorrow. We'll talk about all this. I feel like we need to connect. Make sure you're here for the live. Um, it might be a 10 a.m. live UK time. 10, 10.30 a.m. We need to have a deep conversation. Until next time, guys. Scary moments. Scary, scary moments at the moment.